This one I made here probably took all of five minutes. Whole piece of ABS is an inch and a half, and then I just cut this rectangle out, pushed it down over the handle, put a few wraps of electrical tape around that. Uh, so now I can sit up here, get my weight up as far as I can, I'm going to still shut the thing off. Hey, it's Greg here with Outdoors and Cheap, and I thought I'd just do a really quick video talking about this uh, homemade tiller handle extender. That I made. So I got this new boat, I don't know, about a month or so ago. I've been working on it a lot. I got the whole thing really cheap, trailer, motor, and boat, but main, that's mainly because the uh, propeller on the motor was wrecked and the boat was in very bad shape. So I had to do a lot of fiberglass work and stuff like that. I should have filmed it all, but I didn't. I just wanted to get it done. Um, so anyway, I took it out first trip and uh, just using so the tiller handle ends right here. So if you're sitting up here, your arm is back behind your, you know, your, arm, your hand is about a foot behind your body out in an awkward way. And it seems all right, but after about an hour, it's very uncomfortable. And it's not like you can switch hands, <laughs> right? This one's supposed to be held with your left hand. That's just the way it is. You sit in the middle, hold it with your left hand. So uh, I, I, I went online and I said, I wonder if there's a way to extend tillers and of course you can buy stuff like this i get this one off of amazon for i don't know about 40 bucks 40 bucks canadian um but i didn't want to wait <laughs> like i ordered it the day before i was going to take the boat out again so i just looked at the one i ordered and i looked at it took a look at the design and i said i think i can make see how it's designed you can get your thumb through here to shut it off right to get there's an off switch there a little button you press to, to kill it um so I looked online on YouTube and I watched a number of videos of guys making these things and the complexity that some of these guys went into to make these things was just ridiculous. This one I made here probably took all of five minutes. I took an old piece of junk ABS. You can see it still got duct tape on it from whatever I used it for before. Old piece of ABS is an inch and a half. Inch and a half is slightly smaller than the diameter of the tiller handle. Um, that's what you want. You want it to be slightly smaller, okay? And then I just cut this rectangle out, okay? Mimicking this sort of idea, except this one here is, you know, it's got a, it's got a rectangle cutter to this side, and it's got a hole here and here for access to the off switch, right? I just cut a rectangle out, straight rectangle, put it in a vise, cut it out with a handsaw, and then I pushed it down over the handle. By the time I got it two inches onto the handle, it was very tight. But then just for extra security, I put good old multi-useful electrical tape, right? Because it's got that elasticity. So I put a few wraps of electrical tape around that and it ain't going anywhere and ain't coming off. Uh, so now I can sit up here, get my weight up as far as I can. I can still shut the thing off. And um, for those that are might, I mean, you can store this on a slate down. You can store it on an angle, right, so the water drains out. If it's if it's sitting out, you don't want water gathering, right, so it should. But also you can just you can just turn it around so that slot acts like a weep hole, <laughs> just in case it was up, right? Uh, but most of the time, just because of the way the, the uh, motor's positioned, it's on, if it's just resting and not being used, it's on a down angle, so the water will come out the bottom, just if you're concerned about water pooling and screwing up the electrics and that sort of stuff. Right. So anyway, I mean, the easiest thing to do is order something like this for 30, 40 bucks. These things go all the way up to a couple hundred dollars, but this one seemed uh, perfectly adequate. Or you can fashion something like this. The only catch I'd say with this, I, mean, I didn't do a video on how I did, I did this in a rush, basically on the way out the door, but it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Cut a slot out, stick it over, tape it on. <laughs> Not pretty, right? Uh, the only drawback to this design is that because it's an inch and a half in diameter, it fatigues the hand over time. Not immediately, but after a couple hours, right? For some reason, your hand wants something broom handle diameter. Um, so if I was going to stick with this long term, I'd, I'd make it the same length as this one here, right? So I'd, I'd cut it back a little bit and then I'd glue something into it that has a diameter similar to a broom handle, right? You can do that by, by gluing successive diameters of ABS in, or you can just get, you know, 
get a piece of dowel or even a piece of a tree. <laughs> just get a piece of dowel that's the right diameter to fit in the ABS and then just whittle it down so that it's the right the right size for your hand right going towards the end and just glue it in there or glue it in there or put it in there put a couple screws into it countersink those whatever right there's a thousand ways to to do it so yeah if I was going to stick with this I would add I cut it back a little bit put something a bit more narrow in diameter um, in just in case I was going to do a long trip but anyway that's the easiest way to make a telehandle extender piece of ABS it's uh, about the same diameter yet slightly smaller than the diameter of the tiller handle for this 9.9 .9 mercury one and a half inch ABS is perfect cut a slot out jam it on tape it on you're good to go <laughs> uh, so I hope you found this video interesting I have my regular viewers I'm sorry I've not been making videos this summer there's just always been I can only seem to get away I don't want to do too many videos in my backyard just talking about stuff I want to be out doing stuff and uh, every chance I've had to get out to do something, it's been a busy summer, uh, but every chance I've had time to get out and do something that's outdoors on the cheap stuff, I've basically had my kids with me or I've been with a friend or something. Uh, so I've just not been able to film. So I don't, I don't film my kids. So anyway, uh, that's why I haven't been making videos. I've been out doing all kinds of great stuff, but, uh, but I haven't been alone. <laughs> which is good right <laughs> so um, you know we're going to get into you know it's we're moving into fall near it's going to be hunting season I, my, my kids just not old enough for you know for that sort of thing yet so uh, I'll be doing more stuff uh, on my own so I'll be filming more and hopefully I can and the kids are going back to school so when I have days off they're going to be in school so I'll be out doing stuff by myself so uh, hopefully you'll see me out in the water in this beast um, real soon so. If you found this interesting, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, enjoy the outdoors on the cheap. Thanks for watching.